She's not afraid. Her mission to expand humankind's vision. Her cognition sees fission and heals it with erudition. A rhetorician, physician, in human pain demolition. Her intuition alone has no living competition. She has ambition, volition, is tactful with exposition. Puts herself in position to remake healing tradition with unique disposition for giving us all a chance to take a positive stance towards a future more bright and more deserving of light. You can do nothing better for your daughter to give her an example of what a woman and her passion looks like. On top of that, she's a star, wears heels and still can walk far. As we stare on, amazed, my shoes and envious gaze. So when I think of today, it feels most pressing to say that Teal, you are a wonder. You lead us through as we blunder. We're here to celebrate you with joy and gratitude true. Go outside, laugh and play because June 16th's your day. Happy birthday. They were my friends for two years, and then they moved into the house with the lesbians. And yo, they would only ask me to come over when they wanted to do drugs. We get hate messages and threats pretty often. It was not cool. About a hundred threatening I stopped messages. hanging out with them because the lesbians stole my car and five dollars when I didn't bring the weed and got it themselves. And it was not cool, but they gave me my car back. And they, they said, yo, you think you're God's gift to women? And they said, that's so show. And they said, that's Goldie. what I thought I was, but I wasn't. That stripe kisser. Divine femininity. But I really did believe that shit. But I, that's what I was believing in back in the day. Peanut. And Fiona. Hey, Blake, are we going to Walmart? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you got a new, you got a new girlfriend. I know it's been weeks. You just met her yesterday. It's one month yesterday. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, I think I already think you should be talking about this to Miss Swan. I'm thinking of asking for her to marry me in two weeks. I'm not the one to tell this to. You're supposed to tell Miss Swan. You have to pass it by till, um. Okay, when you get on the call, tell her she's special, but not qualified to work for Miss Swan. We've just been sitting here waiting for you for 20 minutes. Are we going to Walmart? Just make the call. Stop trying to think of what to say and just call her. Hey, how's it going? Best advice I'm going to give you, stop thinking of what you want to say and say what you want her to say. You nervous about everyone here? Very nervous. Well, they're very excited to add a new family member, so. Hey, Bye -bye. Blake, are we going to Walmart? He acts like a little noodle. Is Blake's new girlfriend coming today? I know, it's been weeks. He's going to be here? Yeah. Oh, cool. I love it. And then it's about her versus me. I don't want it to be that same dynamic, because, like, the reality of Blake's life, so far, unless he changes his mind, is this. He's my safe place. Okay, we're gonna be like, filming. In my life. Okay, just sit, try to get comfortable. Don't worry about anything. Do not have a hissy fit. It, we, last time, I don't think we're ever gonna be u able to use that embarrassing content. The problem comes whenever a girl that he's with has a truth that opposes mine in any way. That's, that's, that's your ex. Blake is. Okay, okay. Blake is. Not in love way. You just need him. You need Blake to be on the same page with everyone else. The person that I'm closest to. Do not say these things when she comes in here. You have to learn. I, I know you're autistic. You're autistic. You're autistic. But when she comes in here, we're being cordial. We're, we're going to start things off in a good way. Hey, no, no one's... I've been watching her. She doesn't react. You're not hurting my bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. I know. It's been weeks. <laughs> it's one month yesterday. Okay. I got, I got it. She's coming in. Hi, Julia. We're all going to be friends. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's not a real safe community. Both because of the level of pressure that we're under all the time and the level of attacks we get all the time. Don't mind me or the camera. We're making a show. It's going to be on Hulu.com. My community forms this little circle like that. And that is my everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. That's I like it. I, I got... It's going to be the best show in the world is going to be like bigger than the men who built america because they built america in like 20 40 years this is happening now i I'm really love glad you. we got a new girl so good kids me this is talk, 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 talk to your mom Es ist ja. neu, ich bin irgendwie so wie so also, so um, so nicht so I'm part of the film crew. I'm, I'm filming. I'm filming the show. I'm making a show. It's gonna be on Hulu. Also ist schon alles recht aufregend. Und Do you have Hulu in Russia? <lacht> ja. It's gonna be on Hulu. Ja, ja. Es ist immer. Ja, es ist okay. We're just, filming, we're just filming everything. Ich mag das total gern, mit ganz vielen Leuten zusammen zu sein. Und, ähm, well, oh, oh, Germany. You yeah, have Hulu in Germany? <laughs> we're friends. Yeah. We're friends. <laughs> we're filming everything. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you want one too? Love you. Don't worry. If you didn't want to be filmed, she wouldn't have been Blake's girlfriend. It's just part of the deal. Don't worry about anything. Part of the film crew. We're just filming. We're just filming everything. I'll be, I, I just gotta get everything. Why the fuck do you think that the universe would put you in front of me if everything's fine? My God, don't do this to me. What do you need? For me, in order to feel resolve. I don't do this to me today. You've got aspects of your life that aren't going well, especially relative to people. My people's skills are perfectly fine. It's what put me in front of you. No, I mean, really answer the question. You're really beautiful. You're a beautiful woman. I don't know why they treat you the way that they do. No, I mean, really answer the question. Um, all my life, I knew that I was so hot and as an adult I knew I was pretty and I was cool and I was funny and cool mm -hmm. but I couldn't be myself I don't know what this is I do think I do think uh, God is and uh, you could be my girlfriend I don't know if the only reason you're here is because of a sexual like thing that's a problem for me Oh my God, don't do this to me today. God, don't do this to me today. It, it, could, it really just could be a sexual thing, and it's okay. You could be my girlfriend. Uh, I got a message from Biddy. Uh, I got a message from Biddy. Dear Swoon, dear Swoon, dear Husson, we decided on what we're turning here. Damn it. <clears throat> we need to produce no more time, and they're not extending the contract. We have decided to go down the betrayal route we just need filler focus on what teal is doing to us you know what to do and loose lips sing ships love with love biddy uh, p.s don't fuck this up p.s.s you don't love her but i do love her teal swan Swan, I love you. If the life that someone is living is based off of an inauthentic truth, when they start to unpack themselves and realize what they really need, they're probably going to be making massive changes.
Do you spend all your time calling people's BS? It's a strange question. Why is that an important question? I'm not here thinking that you have all the answers and they're all right. I have no problem with people not following me if it's the right thing for them. I'm expressing everything that comes up for me, every question, every challenge and opposition. I can misuse my power. I can do that, and I had better be aware of that. Yeah, how do you feel that way? Where is the sticking point with you? But I, and so I have resistance against that, if I'm being brutally honest. That's what you're doing to me. You seem to go into resistance about this. Right, is there anyone out of the team that you would have enough respect for that they could challenge you? Thank you, thank you. The reality for you is you think there's an actual fucking consequence. I wouldn't be particularly aware if I wasn't able to recognize the potential of someone having more awareness of me. But I also don't have to agree with everything that's being said by you. I could take my skills and I could ruin someone's life with them. I have to be aware of that, otherwise I'm not very safe, am I? Not above you. Like, who do you look up to? to I call? don't look up to anyone. I'm expressing everything that comes up for me, every question. It concerns me that... So is this really an argument about that, or is this an argument about the fact that you don't believe that that's me? But I also don't have to agree with everything that's being said by you. And no, nor should I value anyone else. For somebody not having a mentor, you're afraid of that consequence with me. So. I look up to people, and then I then find out that they are not who I thought they were. Blake, Blake. <laughs> that could be very I know you're playing your dumb games, but I need to go to the hospital. I know when I ate the pasta salad that Juliana made, I know I got sick, food poisoning. I don't think she cooked the chicken. <laughs> so random. Guys, I think I've been poisoned. I'm poisoned. I am poisoned. I'm sick. Okay, we're just I need gonna to go to the hospital because I'm sick. It would be these two. Okay. Uh, I also have a headache. Alternative medicine is now embracing the curative powers of. You don't always get to choose what you want to do in your life. You don't always get to choose. Right now, you have to take me to the hospital. You think I would choose? Mm -hmm. Go get your keys. I'll get my super short underwear and then we'll bounce. Looking in the mirror, applying lipstick and whispering. I really do think it's COVID. It's, it's COVID. I, I'm pretty sure it's COVID. Yeah, it's, it's really hot in here. Mm -hmm. Turn down the music. I know, I know how to get to the hospital. Let me out of the car. I know how to get to the hospital. I know. I know how to get there myself. Just, just get to the hospital. <coughs> hey Blake, are we going to Walmart? I am really glad that you and Miss Swan are getting along. Hello. 
Hey, it's me. Betty, yeah. Have you heard the good news? But I love Miss Swan. No. I love Miss Swan. But I love you. I love you. Did you get my email? Our story is about spooky music and the emotion on people's faces. Spooky music. Emotions on faces. Yep. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I see goats. There's goats fucking walking around outside. The, the goats. Oh, damn. The goats. Don't fuck up. Okay. Don't ruin this. Okay, the show is about spooky music. Like and the emotion on people's okay. faces. And, yeah, the emotions on people's faces. You know what to okay, do. Oh, my God. We made out for two weeks when I was in college. And the closest I ever came to getting a girlfriend was her. After she broke up with me for never thinking how having the mind to take her on a date, I realized that if everything went good on her end, I would have married that woman and had a dreadful life. So I thank God that she saved me. The next time I get close to a woman in this way, I would be ready to say the vows, the I do's, and pledge my allegiance. Uh, Teal, there is something that I should tell you. There's something that's been on my mind. It's been driving me crazy. It's probably why I had to go to the hospital. It's just very important. But I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you. It's kind of a secret. You are like the legend of Zelda. If you were Princess Zelda, I could not let another day go by without coming and saving my princess. No. Mm -hmm. I need to check to make sure that it's meaningful. You're stepping into um, a territory that really frustrates me, and I literally don't know what the answer is because. And it's only it's only gonna get more frustrating. Okay, I'm here for you. I am here for you, Till Swan. I'm here. For what you. I encourage is to see everybody in existence as one human family. So that's why it's almost like the vision for the world is is one tribe. And I'm looking to start a life and to be a husband and to make the world right for a very special woman. I'm that guy. But it's something I have to tell you, Tell Swan. I tell you something very important. I can't just tell you the secret. It's not going to be equal, honestly, mm -hmm. with me. I know what you're saying. You don't mean it. There is nothing I want more than to let you know it seems really important but i don't know if i should tell you this is not for me this is for you i am not a selfish person i am here to save you i want to be your link I, I have no interest in limiting people's relationships i would love it if they were able to have as close relationship as possible i want to facilitate that so anybody who's really close to me, it doesn't really work to have relationships unless they're kind of on the boat. If that makes sense. Kind of. Yeah. I thought it was your vision. Yeah, but I'm the people but in... Basically, uh, you were the driving force. No, I wouldn't say that I'm the driving force. I would say that people's life experiences are the driving force. No. <coughs> I'm not happy after that. Tell us how you got your name. You wasn't originally born as Scion. You were born as Matthew. A lot of people don't know that. And repeat. I don't know if you guys know this, but Scion wasn't the name I, I was born with and legally have. Do you know that? Um, my, my actual legal name is Matthew. My cousin's name is Matthew, and he would agree with you. He hates his name, too. Tell us how you got your name, Scion. And we came up with this name together. <laughs> You're fucking hilarious, Scion. <laughs> Scion. I love you. Uh -huh. Alright, get the fuck off my screen. Yo, Miss Daisy, 
Miss Daisy, come here and sit with Zion was sitting and tell me why you think Till Swan is Jesus. Th thank you, thank you. I feel like she's Jesus. <laughs> why wouldn't um, everybody just like treat her like so special? Thank you. That will definitely be in the show. But we're making a great show. You're going to be in it. Okay. I'm just filming your face while, while, while you're in the group hug. Don't worry, it's gonna be in the show about Till Swan. You are a beautiful man, don't worry about anything. I'm just filming your face in a group hug for the Deep End show. It's just called Project Till Swan, making fun of Till Swan. I mean, no. than anything else, it's important to me that you feel comfortable while I have a camera in my hand. So, it gives the opportunity to really get a deep in there. I'll put on a t-shirt. Just in case we find out some amazing news, and we go down the route of Till Swan being the prophet of a new generation. Tell me the story of your psychosexual development. Here's the thing. I did start uncovering some of this stuff when I was in Till. Your psychosexual development and how you're different from everyone else. But I had stuff I didn't need to uncover. Tell me the truth about how Till Swan is your hero and believes you when no one else does. I am bringing you into my safe place. I love you. When we are thinking about Freud, Freud psychosexual psychology, mm -hmm. it says you are part of your parents' sex. My mom actually walked in in person. I was screaming my head off. She walked in and walked out. Yeah. Tell me a story about how your your parents and uncles pretended they was the devil and sat the kids on a grill. I think the worst memory I have is <laughs> these family gathering parties and um, they put you on a rack and set it on fire. They actually built, a, a, it was like a barbecue pit. They lit it on fire and then they put the kids on top of it. So they would put every kid on top of it. That's, I think, one of the worst memories. You're gonna have to say these things again. I wasn't filming. I wasn't filming. Can you say the part again where they put you on a rack and set it on fire? It's a form of punishment. I, I, I don't know. It, it, it's more so... They're going to find out. But how do you know? How do you know? They're going to find out. How do they know? They're going to know. How do you know? They're going to find out. Teal Swan has been dragging all of us through the mud. I've been dealing with it for a year. I told my ex-wife I wasn't going to pay the child support is because I didn't have the money. But I was literally not paying that money because I was giving it all to Teal. Thank you for being in the show. The primary direction has changed and we're going to be able to use you. So. When I say I was watching, she like would constantly ask us like, like, you're going to leave me. You're going to leave me, Jared. You're going to give up on all this. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I won't. I'll do anything. It's like, what are you willing to do for this cause? 
Blake told me the aquarium is not even gonna have sea lions in five years. And I told her I'd be willing to kill someone and bury them in the backyard. I don't know what he was thinking, but he said no. He said, I'm gonna kill the sea lions. But I am really glad that you are here. Everything I know says doing our show is the perfect way to get your life back together and recover from how that woman has affected your life. We have to be willing to do whatever it takes for this. This cause is more important than our own lives. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask a hard question. What is the worst thing that Teal Swan has ever forced you to do? Okay, and go. Just, you know, made me like cut ties with family and think this and accuse my dad of sexual abuse, like awful stuff. Talk about how Teal Swan always needs the last word and the first and the third and the fifth. Okay, I'm not crazy. It's either like, her mission's too important or her pain's too great. Anything else is like off the limit. Like she can, she can do whatever she wants. This woman loves me. Someone who's got the most important work in the world, who's been through the most terrible torture in all of humanity. Thank you. This is really groundbreaking documentary information that I am learning. When you have that mindset, Anything she does is like outweighed. Like you're gonna either, get an eleven hundred dollar check in the mail from Freeform. Don't lose it. We do not do direct deposit. You have to go to the bank and cash it yourself. I speak for the whole film crew when I say, "Happy birthday, Teal." Hi, Teal. I just wanted to say I hope you have a very, very, very happy birthday. Happy birthday from your favorite bear. Very grateful for you and so lucky to be sharing uh, this time in our lives together. Till Swan said for her birthday she wants a video of everyone here that got invited to say something nice to her on camera. Okay? There's no one else on the planet who everything they say I agree with that. I've got goosebumps now. Absolutely goosebumps. Till Swan's birthday is going to be popping because she said you're her favorite patient. Be cool about it because obviously there's a part of me that's worried I'm just going to fangirl and be a little bit too much. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Cutie, cutie, cutie. I never heard anyone like speak so much truth. Ain't no party like a Teal Swan party because once it's happened, we're accepting it as part of our lives. There's no way around it. I've heard so much about what it's like just to be in her presence. Teal, 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 what do you want to do for your birthday? Completion process is not a trite self-help technique. It is this extremely intense soul retrieval process. What a zero-sum game is, is I win and you lose. There is no possible way to create a relationship that will last and that feels good when you're playing a zero-sum game. Trust is to rely upon the fact that somebody will capitalize on your best interests. It corrodes trust in relationships. If I'm playing an I win and you lose game, I have literally proven to you that I will not capitalize on your best interests, and so you cannot trust me. It would be ridiculous and idiotic to do so. Not what's wrong with you, it's what happened to you. They're coming for a, a quick fix to their emotional state. Ain't no party like a Teal Swan party because when this ends, yo, we are gonna accept that it happened in the life that we are living. <laughs> like, like <laughs> this, this happened. My rule is if you want to come within 50 miles of me, you better be ready for the deepest end of the pool. It's mainstream psychology in a lot of ways. 
is a major debate whether re-experiencing a memory is something that people should even do. We're gonna do this for each person. I want you guys to break off in groups. We're coming back to this moment of trauma. It causes mental changes to our present. Thank you, everybody. you believe that doing so makes you a good person. The worst thing in the world is to be selfish. Because of all of this, let's call it programming, chances are you have been socialized to believe that in order to be valued and loved and included, you have to be good. But what's actually happening is that your wires are getting drastically crossed. Essentially, if you're not good, none of your needs are going to be met. Because those wires are drastically crossed, you may think you're the good guy. But actually, by abandoning your best interests, you become the bad guy. Instead, we bank on the fact that another person's best interest is to stay with us. And we use that to give us leeway to play zero-sum games. Till Swan got a murder book. Till Swan got a murder book. Mm -mm. By the time the woman you've been working on for has a murder book, you know what show to make for Hulu. You know what show you're making for Hulu. Yes. You definitely, you definitely know what show you're making for Hulu. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't. No. Nope. I couldn't find them anywhere. I swear to God, I looked through the sofa. I looked through the kitchen, I looked through the bedrooms, I could not find my glasses. Can you still see? Yeah. Necessary. And I, I lost my glasses at the party. I have to wear my Bel Air. Oh, Fresh Prince. I look so pretty. Oh my God. I love you. Are they the same prescription? Yeah, I can see it's, it's, uh, it's only like fucking uh, two numbers off. You will also need better clothes. Yeah. No. Imperative, no. Teal Swan said I could be on stage. She said that she, she, we could talk about my problems. And I, I could say, say... But I need you to film outside. Say something to the audience on stage. She said I could. I need you to film the cars outside of the building. Alright, but at least, y'all, at least I could be in... What else can you wear? All I have is the t-shirts that are in, in, in the closet. Mandatory. In Blake's room. 
I have t-shirts in the closet in Blake's room. Do you have different pants? I don't have other pants. I only got the pants that I wear. It's important. Okay. It's very important. Okay. Uh, ain't no goats. Ain't no goats. All right. Thank you. Swan said I could be on stage, but Biddy sat the film cars. Thank you. 